Hey everyone, if you've seen part one of this pickup video, welcome back. If not, this is the second part, a Sega-centric video. Part one kicked off with a package I received from fellow YouTuber McFly. It was Return Fire from the 3DO. Um, I, I put footage of that up, and that's because in between then and now, several, several days have passed. Uh, I was interrupted when I did this originally, and then a bunch of stuff came up. So I'm getting back to it. I'm just going to do it from scratch. I'm going to try to go in a chronological order here. I have one more video after this, that, but it's kind of dedicated to another system, another company. I'm going to break that out and kind of make it a surprise because it's one I've wanted for ever since, you know, I was younger. But moving on, Sega only. Um, although I did forget to show Wipeout Fusion for PlayStation 2 last time, it's because I cannot find it. So it's probably in this mess over here. First up, picked this up recently from eBay. I have been wanting one of these since I was a kid. I had one friend that had it and it was always interested in me, but I had never got around to picking it up and they've gone up in price lately. Sega Master System. Now, unfortunately, it is scuffed a fair bit on here. I looked up to see if there's any way to get rid of that, and apparently there's not. Um, and that's unfortunate. But um, this was pretty cheap, I think $30. And I got um, a game, Hang On, and Astro Warrior. The, the game itself is in great shape. Um, the manual and case looks absolutely mint. Uh, the system, while scratched up some, came with a, a controller that looked like it had never been used. Um, I'll show that real quick because I was really impressed with the condition of this. Uh, that thing looks like it just came out of the package. This is only the only thing I bought where I was kind of hesitant because while I always wanted one, I've been playing it and I, you know, I'm not really seeing too much I want on it. Might trade it away or sell it at some point. Um, I'm not sure. I, I also got it because I'm a big Sega collector, but again, looking at all the, the games for it, um, a few things I want to try, like I'd like to play the first Fantasy Star on it, but of course that's now gone up in price. So nothing really grabbing me, so I'll have to see how this plays out. I might get one or two titles for it, to see how I feel. But uh, here's the, the case. So hang on, an Astro Warrior combo cartridge. Uh, I hooked this up to uh, a CRT with composite, and I was surprised with how good Hang On looked. Uh, really crisp. Let's see, moving on from there. I have a few Genesis games here, one of which is a bit of a project, but I'll go with, uh, and I think GameSack showed, this is pronounced Gyarus, uh, a shooter, really hard, but what I like about it is it has really tight controls and three movement speeds, so if you're having a problem with a boss fight or maybe projectiles are coming a, you know, a different speed than you're used to, you can go from fast, slow, or kind of normal. And you can adjust to your play style or to the situation. Originally, it came with a manual. It's uh, just a. I do this so I won't get any indentions on the tabs. But manual's in great shape. I mean, the manual's hard to come by for this game. That's what makes the price shoot up. But the manual's in good condition. The cover did have some water damage, and I found a guy on a forum who was selling an insert of it. But when I got it in, it was kind of damaged. But I thought, you know, he said it was. I had to pick from what I had left, so I let it be. But then I saw he had an auction for a mint insert. So I emailed him and said, hey, you know, I wasn't going to say anything, but what's going on? And he, he was actually really responsive, really nice. The insert you see here is his replacement, and I'm going to send back the old one. But this is in much, much better shape. Um, pretty much no problems at all. And so really happy to have this complete. Um, the, his inserts going back, but I do have one that's slightly water damaged. Um, Crack Loser and McFly was looking at this game. So depending on who has what, I'll, I'll probably just send that insert off to them. I don't know a way to send it. He sends, uh, the guy I bought this from with a spare case, but I don't have any spare cases uh, to keep it from getting bent. But any of it, really fun game, really, really hard. Oh, it, it has an ob, um, option like R type. You can shoot it out. But when it comes in contact with an enemy, it absorbs their, their power. And the more it does, the stronger it becomes. So if an enemy shoots a laser and the object, uh, the option hits the laser, say, three times, then the laser is powered up three times. It's a really neat system, but God, this game is hard. Uh, moving on. Now, that was kind of a project where I bought a game where I needed the insert, uh, a better insert, but it came with a good manual. This is the opposite. I bought this because the insert was fantastic. Uh, it's Fan Fantasy Star 2 for the Genesis, but it did not come with a manual. This has failed. I cannot find a good manual for this game. I'm not even looking for a manual in a map, just a manual, and that has been very difficult. Only two manuals have come up for sale, and they've been in pretty shoddy condition, but the cartridge 
looks brand new and so does the case. So I'm still looking for a manual for this. If I can get the manual and the map, even better. But Fantasy Star 2. I'm trying not to buy all the Fantasy Star games because I can just play them on the compilation disc that came out for the PS2, 3, and 360. But for some reason, there's this draw on me that wants to play them on the original systems, even though those have more um, uh, friendly save systems on them. Next up, um, there's an SNK kit coming soon. But I got Fatal Fury 2. I rented this a lot when I was younger, and I really enjoyed it. For some reason, this is kind of hard to find. Um, it's not that it's expensive. It just doesn't come up for sale a lot on eBay. Uh, I've read that it didn't come out in Australia, so I guess a lot of people sell their copies there. I do see some being sold to Australia for high dollar amounts. Um, the main negative to this is when I bought it, you can see there's damage here. The picture had this, like that. And so when you look at it, it doesn't really, if you looked at the corner, you could see after the fact something was wrong. But when I got it and saw this, I was really annoyed. But two things. One, this game very rarely comes with the manual. Rarely. I'm not really sure why that is either. But this actually took over a month to come to me. And when I finally heard back from the seller, she said, oh, I'm closing down my eBay account. I forgot I had this, which is insane to me. You're, you're going to have several auctions ongoing and forget to... So, I bought it for $10, shipping was $10. She did rip me off on shipping, especially given the condition of the game. But seeing as how she's closing her account anyway, I don't think she cares, and I might get $2 back on the 10 so I just I let it go. That was such a hassle. Um, now, I'll show these two first because they kind of fit in the project motif. One is I picked up the Shining Force um, case and manual. First, everything about this is mint. Really happy with that. So then I, this is the second project I tried. Well, I get the disc second. And that, that ended up working out pretty well. Uh, it's actually in my Sega CD now. The battery, though, there's a problem. It's not holding saves. I let it charge for a while and the error went away. But I uh, eventually put the system back up. I'll have to get to it later because it was taking up a lot of room where I had it out. So I'll have to swap some systems out there. But um, this is kind of like a side story uh, setup here. Uh, I... It's not the main games you have in 1, 2, or even for the Saturn. Um, I forgot what they were for. Maybe they were Game Gear games they ported over. Um, but they're more side missions. You have uh, kind of throwback characters, but there's a lot of, uh, like a new cast. But there are references to the first Shining Force game. Maybe even Shining Force 2. But Shining Force CD, it's, been, it's actually pretty easy. That's why I was surprised by that. Shining Force 2, I would say it's kind of medium difficulty shining force three for the Saturn just absolutely destroys me but I've been I breezed through that before I found out it wasn't saving my game uh, but when I bought the disc only it came with uh, this which is the back insert to dark wizard and I have dark wizard um, I actually need a better disc because that one has a small crack in it uh, but I already have the back insert but I kept this because someone out there must need a dark wizard uh, back art insert so I'll toss this in the giveaway box uh, that's starting to build back up but that's later. Um, if anyone I talk to needs Dark Wizard back insert, let me know. Uh, and Final Genesis game, <laughs> this cover is incredible. Target Earth. But I want you to I want you to see this. Look at this. What, what kind of amazes me is that there was someone at uh, what is this DreamWorks, whoever that is. This not the same DreamWorks. Drew this. Said, look at this. And the, someone else signed off. They said, well, this is incredible. We need this art. We need, look at this. Like, what is he shooting at? Look at the ship, the angle of the ship. What is this? None of this makes sense. None of the proportions make sense. That doesn't look like the, the robot in the game. I, it, it's from 1990 or 91, but this looks like more 85. But that, it's so bad, but I, I find myself just staring at it. That glare's not doing it justice. But it's a really tough but fun side-scrolling uh, action game. I don't want to call it action platformer because it's you do jump and stuff, but it's more you dodging bullets. You can set your, select your loadout, which is pretty neat. Uh, the import cover to this looks amazing. It's the actual mech in the game, and uh, it's a side profile, and I want to get that printed out. And speaking of which, if anyone knows a service that prints that stuff out, let me know. Kinko's, when I tried uh, for Saturn stuff years back, that was just a hassle. I wasted so much money because, you know, it would come out uneven or the computers would break. 
the print job wouldn't come out right, align properly. So if anyone knows a service that does that, preferably game-centric, let me know because I would love uh, the cover project has the import cover of this, and this desperately needs that. But this was a fun game, very tough. Um, I'm glad it came with the manual because that is surprisingly hard to get as well. But uh, you could tell it's kind of a, a cheaper release. Uh, however, I got that because I kept reading good things about its sequel for the Saturn. Assault Suit, was that Lanos 2? And this uh, the spine card's in here as well. It came complete. This has much better graphics, as you'd expect, but it keeps a similar style, side-scrolling action platformer. Um, again, platforming elements, pretty light to say that, but there's minimal jumping and navigation, largely action. Again, you can select your loadout. Um, you have machine guns, flamethrowers, rocket launchers, all, all sorts of stuff. Uh, haven't put too much time in this because I want to beat the first one, but damn, that game is hard. There is a third one, which is available for the Super Nintendo. I think it's called something Justice, maybe? And it went for $65 when I followed it last time, so that's probably not going to happen. Um, the Genesis game was like $20, was shipping about $25. This one was $30 to $40 because I had to get it from uh, imported. And it, it also kind of holds that value in general. I, I paid the... If when that happens, I try to pay the low end of the going rate. So I paid the low end for that, got it complete, though. Uh, I would like the Super Nintendo one, but, you know, that is that is a bit rich. Now, okay, I'll go with this one. For the SNK kick I mentioned earlier, I kind of got that bug. It started with Real Bout Special, which I have a gameplay video of. Absolutely love this game. I don't, I don't know what took me so long to play it, I mean, to buy it, but um, I don't know. This, this, I became addicted to this. I played this a ton. Uh, it's so much more improved over the regular Fatal Fury games. Um, the, the 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 controls are, are to me a little sharper. Um, I love the graphics. I like the move list, and I don't know. This was just a real surprise. I'm really glad I picked this up. Highly recommended. But of course, because of that, I went ahead and I grabbed Fatal Fury. Why did I say that? King of Fighters ninety five. This comes with a ROM cart, not a RAM cart. Uh, it's it's got a little sticker on it. Looks pretty cool. Um, I guess I'll take that out. Now, these three were really cheap. Uh, I decided to go with the cheapest shipping option, and two of them actually had free shipping, which, which the downside is uh, it took probably a month and a half to two months to come in for all this. If you pay for EMS, you're only going to, or me personally, I only wait maybe four to eight days. The cheaper shipping option sometimes is come in seven to 11, but these took these took quite a while, but that was fine. I wasn't in a hurry to play them. I wanted them to try them out. And uh, it was really cheap. I think this one was complete $10 with free shipping. Or it was $10 with like $2 shipping. Uh, King of Fighters 96. Which seems to be the least popular of the group. But uh, 96, this was again like 12 bucks complete. And 97, which my favorite is probably 98. I like 13 a lot actually. But for the older systems, I'll say 98. That didn't come out for the Saturn, but this is really good. I have a gameplay video of this up. Uh, a bit of loading, though. I will say, unfortunately, my newer 4-in-1 RAM cart, or uh, memory cart dash RAM cart, does not work for this. My older one does, so if that's all you have, you don't have an import system, you might want to be careful. Um, the one I have with a parallel port, it does work, but the newer one I bought probably two months ago from PlayAsia does not. I get an error screen, and I've seen a few people in forums mention that as well. Um, I mean, there's a good chance yours will work, but you just got to be careful with it. But this is actually a lot of fun. Um, glad I picked these up. Dirt cheap. Uh, I might get rid of 95 and 96, though. As much as I like them, uh, 97 to me is so much better. And uh, 95 is, is incredibly hard, too. I'm not sure why I find that so difficult, but the AI on that is just brutal. 